Vince here from goodguitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. And in this lesson, you know, I've scoured the internet, looked through all my tab books and stuff and and I want to make a lesson that's a little bit different in the way that rather than just show you like all right, the first thing we're going to do is hold this chord and pluck these notes. I kind of want to show it to you one hand at a time. You know, I'm going to show you what to do with your chord hand first. We'll figure out all the switching so that we can kind of just go through it in a simple way. You know, like that, just like a really get this hand trained up and then it's going to be really easy to just add the finger picking afterwards, you know. So rather than just like walk you through a tab, we're actually going to learn how to learn this song. And if finger picking is your thing, you know, if it's something that you want to get into, I am working on a finger picking course right now. It might even be done by the time I release this, who knows. Um, if you're interested in that, take a look down below. Otherwise, we're going to get started with the chord shapes for the first section. First, we have an A chord. and the cool thing with finger picking is you don't really have to play the full chord shape if you're not going to use it, right? So for instance, this would be our A chord, but we're never going to be touching this string. So we only have to hold down those two notes. And that is what I recommend for this one is to use these two fingers, put your third finger on the second fret of the B string, and then put your middle finger just above it on the second fret of the G string. And for now, we're going to keep the picking super simple because we're not focusing on that yet. Let's just take these three fingers. It's like your claw. You know, we're going to take that, put our thumb on the A string and put these two fingers on the same strings that we're touching, you know, on the G and B string and just squeeze them, you know, just pluck them all together. That's all we're going to do for now is just play them in a really simple way. So first we have this and then to go to the next shape, we're going to take these two fingers and slide them up till they're on the fourth fret and the fifth fret. And then we're going to add our first finger to the fourth fret of the lowest string. And our thumb now is plucking that string. Our right hand, or picking hand, you know, if you're left handed, it's the other hand, is going to follow whatever strings we're touching, basically. So we're plucking these three strings. And that's the first thing that I want you to get used to is going from here on these strings. Now we're going to take this whole shape and we're just going to slide down two times and then tuck this finger in to the second fret. So they're all on the second fret. And then we remove our first finger, put our first finger back, put this finger, your third finger up to the third fret. And from here, we're going to remove our first finger, tuck that finger back in so they're both on the second fret, the uh, same position we started in. And now we're plucking the low E string and those two. And don't worry about which strings we're plucking, we'll go over that again later. For now, just focus on the shapes. And then we're gonna just put our first finger down on the first fret here, plucking the same strings. Then I like to bar the second fret on both of these, on the G and B strings, and then fourth fret on the G string, third fret on B. This is like a little riff. Let's learn it like that. We're going. So one on G, zero on B, two and two, and then four and three. And that's all on the G and B strings. So that's the verse. Let's just recap all those shapes. Starting off here on a modified A shape. E over G sharp. Slide down, all on the second fret. Remove your first finger. Put your first finger back, slide up your third finger. Back to the starting position. And then we play that riff. So 
So just take a look at those shapes and just work through them in order, you know, not worrying about the rhythm yet. And once you feel a little bit comfortable with them, we can try them together in time, just counting out loud and letting them ring out, you know, just to help us memorize the order and everything. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 And once you feel a little bit comfortable with that, you don't have to be perfect at it, we can start to add some of the actual finger picking to it. We're gonna skip the that little riff, we'll add it later. You know, we want to learn this song from the ground up. And what's really important is having that, that pattern down. You know, that's like 99% of the song. We can always just add the little licks and all the cool stuff afterwards. We're on our first shape. We're going to pluck the A string and the G and B strings together and then thumb, fingers, thumb. Together, thumb, fingers, thumb. You know, just that's gonna be like our pattern for 99% of the song. If you just did that on each of the shapes that you learned. You know, that's it pretty much. But there are a couple spots where it's different. Before we get to them though, I wanna quickly work out our pattern so that you just have it in your muscle memory. So we're just on our first shape, and we're just gonna go together, thumb, fingers, thumb. A whole bunch of times. Just take a minute right now, work out the coordination, and then we'll do it in time. One and two and three and four. One and two and one and two and together, thumb, fingers, thumb. One and two and get really used to this. Once you have this in your muscle memory, the rest of the song's a cinch, you know, it's not too difficult to learn it. So just work that out a whole, whole, whole bunch, just like I was. And now we're going to apply it to our whole chord progression, but we'll stop at the points where it's different. So we start off on our first chord, together, thumb, fingers, thumb, together, thumb, fingers, and there's the first spot where it's different. So we do our pattern one time on our first chord. Then we go up to our second chord and we do the first three motions. Together, thumb, fingers, and then we cut straight to our next chord. So we're, we're pushing that chord forward a bit. I'll do it faster so that you can hear the actual rhythm. See how I kind of like jumped the beat there? One and two and three and four. And that's the, probably the first thing that I would practice at this point, you know, as far as getting the finger picking going, make sure you can get to that point. Going one and two and three and four and one and two, three again. One and two and three and four and one and two. One more time. One. So once we get to this chord, we've already plucked them together. Even though we did it ahead of time, you know, we already plucked them together. Then we're going to go thumb, fingers, thumb. So, you know, so we're going to finish our pattern on it. Remove our first finger, keep our pattern going. Together, thumb, fingers, thumb. Next shape, together, thumb, fingers, thumb. Next shape, together, thumb, fingers, thumb. And now here it's going to be a bit different. It's actually a really simple pattern. We're starting off with our shape and instead of going together, we're just going to pluck with our fingers and then our thumb. And that's our pattern is we're just alternating fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb. Just try that a couple times. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two again. Three and four and 
one and two and three and four and cool so let's just recap that whole thing starting off on our first shape we do our pattern once pattern we go to that chord early continue So take your time with that, figure it out, and when you're ready, we're going to play it together nice and slow. And two, and three, and four. Bo -do -do. So now what we're going to do is add that little lick at the beginning. You know, that's all you're missing at this point. So what we do here is we're just plucking the low string open, then we hammer it at the second fret with our first finger. And you know, if that doesn't sound good, just do this a bunch of times. I actually have a video that um, teaches you how to put the right amount of force into a hammer on because that's something that I see, you know, when a when a student is first trying it, they're just kind of like, you know, they don't really hammer it. Like you actually have to hammer it. And I just turn the guitar around, make a knocking sound with your finger. You know, I'll put a link to that video down below. It's just like a little five minute thing where we just talk about getting the right amount of force so that your hammer-ons have a good volume and, you know, sound good. Anyways, we pluck the open E string, hammer to the second fret with our first finger. And then we're actually gonna change what we do on the A chord. Instead of doing our pattern, which we'll do on subsequent repeats of it, but whenever we play this lick, we gotta change what we do on that chord. It's gonna go like this. So I hammer the second fret, then I pluck the A string, I pluck the G string, B, G. I just go like this. You know, if you add the hammer before that, hammer on. Just try that a whole bunch of times. And once you're used to that, try to move forward with the with the next bit of the song. get to that point the rest of it's totally simple I would just practice that a whole bunch cool so that's the entire first section let's move on so this part happens right after the first section you know so let's pretend that we played through the whole thing and we get to this point point. and now from here we're gonna quickly get into this shape it's like our starting shape plus our first finger on the second fret of the lowest string. This is an F sharp minor chord technically, but we don't have to play the whole bar chord. We only have to play the notes that we're plucking. That's what's cool about finger picking. One of the many cool things. Anyways, here we are. And on this chord, we're gonna be playing it for a bit longer than usual. So we, we just have to add a little bit more to our pattern. You know, we start off with our pattern as usual. Together, thumb, fingers, thumb. And then we're gonna add Fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb. So super duper simple. Let's try that, you know, all at once. Together, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb. A little bit faster. Three and four and. And 
And now we're going to do the same thing on the next chord shape. For this next chord shape, all we have to do is take our first and second fingers and just slide them over to the first fret. Leave this one where it is, but these two just, we just slide them over, same pattern. Then we remove these two fingers, still leaving this one where it was, same pattern. And now at this point, uh, I think this chord's the hardest chord in the whole song. There isn't really a super easy way to do it. Um, the best way is to actually do a bit of a bar. Or you could do it like this. It's not too bad, but it does require like a bit of movement in your chord hand. So, you know, let's just work our way through it. Let's really spend some time on this one. First, we'll go with what I would like you to do, you know, my, the ideal situation, if you can play bar chords. And if bar chords give you a, a problem, I have a course called Bar Chords Made Easy. I'll put a link down below. You can take a, a quick look at that if, uh, if you're interested in, you know, getting better at that stuff. Anyways, we have our F sharp seven chord here. And basically, I'm pressing down the second fret on the thickest string and then on the D string. That's where I'm focusing my pressure. Even though I have to like bar the whole thing, I'm kind of like teetering my hand so that I'm really focusing on those two notes. The rest of the notes don't really have to sound that great yet. And then I'm gonna put my middle finger down on the third fret of the G string. So I have the thickest string, the D and the G. And I do my pattern like I normally would, together, thumb, fingers, thumb. And then here, we put our ring finger, or our third finger, one fret higher than our middle finger. So it's on the same string. And we just go fingers, thumb. And then I remove my ring finger and I pluck these two strings. So let's treat this one like a bit of a riff. You know, it's not really a chord shape plus a strumming or a picking pattern. It's like everything's kind of moving like a chord melody. Starting off here, together, thumb, fingers, thumb. We add our ring finger to the fourth fret of the G string. Fingers, thumb, remove our ring finger, and then pluck the G and B strings. I'll do it all together, super slow motion. Three and four and one and two and three and four and now if that's too much let's just take a look at a an easier way to solve this little part of it instead of barring it let's try it like this second fret with our first finger skip a string second fret with our middle finger and then third fret with our ring finger so we're holding the same notes but there's no bar involved and now we're going to do our pattern. We're going to put our pinky down on the fourth fret of the G string. Pluck it, fingers, thumb. And now we have to do two motions. This is what makes this part tricky. We have to remove our pinky, and then we have to move our middle finger to the second fret of the B string. And just pluck those two strings right here. So I'll do it all together really slowly. One and two and three and four. So figure out which way you want to do that. You know, if the bar chord one sounds decent right now, it'll only get better. But if it just isn't working at all, use the second way, you know, and just figure out which one you're going to do. Take some time with it. And, you know, you're going to really have to focus on that part. That's probably the, the trickiest part of the whole song. Anyways, moving on from there we're going to make this shape right here. So I have my, my first finger on the second fret of the A string, skip a string, middle finger on the second fret of the G string, third finger on the third fret of the B string. And here our pattern is a little bit different. We're gonna start off going thumb, thumb, fingers, thumb. So the first stroke, instead of being together, it's just a thumb. Thumb, thumb, fingers, thumb. Then fingers, thumb, fingers. And we hit the low E string. So 
thumb, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, open low E string. So once again, you know, since this is a new pattern, take some time with it. Just look at it at the top of the screen and just kind of work your way through it. Thumb, thumb, fingers, thumb. That's the first half. Then fingers, thumb, fingers, open low E string. And then from here, we just go fingers, fingers, open low E string, fingers. So I would look at this as just one big rhythmic pattern, you know, going. And you know, once again, this is the hardest part of the song, so we just gotta spend some time on it, really slowly. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. You know, when I have students come in, the um, the biggest thing that I see for what prevents people from, you know, getting really good really fast is spending too much time playing through things that you're already pretty good at, you know? And in, in this song, what I'm trying to get across in this lesson is that there are some points throughout the tune that, you know, I've taught this song like 50 times, right? Everybody has trouble at these spots. So those are the spots that I want you to just really, really practice. So you can just kick butt at those parts, you know, and this is one of them. So, you know, if I'm taking the time to play it nice and slow, probably means you should pause the tape here and really work your way through that, you know, or just rewind it and play it with me a whole bunch of times. All right, so at this point, I wanna backtrack a little bit and learn the intro, it, which is also the interlude. You know, it comes before and after all the stuff that we just learned. Now, this part is very, very similar to the first part. So let's just start with that. Let's just start going. And here is gonna be different. Instead of continuing on and going like, you know, once we get to this chord to D over F sharp. After that, we're gonna take off our first finger, gonna go together, thumbs, and then we're gonna take off our middle finger and put our first finger down on the first fret of that same string. So instead of our middle finger, we have our first finger there, fingers, thumb, and then back to our first chord. So let's go over that little bit one more time. You know, we're at the D over F sharp chord. We play our pattern normally. Then. So I'm just going fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb. Then we get to our A chord. And we can start the song. So let's play through the entire interlude now. You know, this is the very beginning of the song, as well as um, between each verse. You know, they just take a little instrumental break. This is the part they're playing. One and two and three and four. So at this point, we have the intro slash interlude, we have the verse, and we have the chorus down. And we're gonna play this all together soon, so don't worry about that. But before we do that, let's just finish learning all the parts of it. The next part we have is the bridge. And for the bridge, we actually change keys. So that means there's gonna be some new chord shapes, but it's all like super basic chords, like C, G, A minor, you know? Um, if you could figure out what we've already done, this isn't gonna be too tricky. I'm gonna play it for you really slowly. 
One and two and three and four and For most of that, we are using the exact same pattern we've been using this entire time, and a lot of the same chords. It's not going to be too tricky. We're starting off on a C chord, and this is the one spot where the pattern is different. For this chord, we're going to put our thumb on the A string, and then we're going to put our first, second, and third finger on the top three strings. Our pattern goes like this. So it's thumb, first finger, then these two fingers together, and then your first finger again. If we're talking strings, A, G, B, E, G. Just try that a bunch. You can just do that on a chord, change chords halfway through, call it a song. So we do that one time on the C chord, and then we change to G over B, and I recommend using this fingering, going from C to G over B, and we're back to normal here. I've, I have my thumb on the A string, first, second, on G and B, and we're just going to do our usual pattern. So I would practice that, going between the two patterns. That's the hardest part of this whole section. C, then G over B with our usual pattern. Three and four and one. Two and three and four and. From here, we go to A minor seven, which is you know a pretty easy switch. We just have our first finger on the first fret of the B string, second finger on the second fret of D. So it's like an A minor chord, but we just take off our ring finger. Same pattern. Then we go to this familiar chord shape here. Same pattern. Then we go to G, and we don't actually have to play the whole G chord. We can just use one finger, because we're finger picking. You know, we only need those three strings, so it's the thickest string, and then the G and B string. Same pattern. Back to D over F sharp. Then E minor. So for that, we didn't even need any fingers, because, you know, normally E minor is like that, but we're not plucking either of those strings. Just play our pattern one time on that. Then we're going to go to D over F sharp, and here, there's no pattern. We just pluck the strings. Then we switch to G and we pluck the strings together. So let's just try that that little bit, going from E minor. I'll count us in. Three and four and one and two and three and four and. So let's recap all of that, starting at the C chord. We have a little bit of a different pattern just over that chord. Then pattern as usual on G over B, A minor seven, D over F sharp, G with one finger, D over F sharp, E minor, D over F sharp, G. And now we're gonna do that again. So we're back to our C chord. We go through that again. And 
when we repeat it, instead of going to the E minor chord from here, we're actually going to go uh, to an E major riff that goes like this. So it's really similar to the one that we already learned for the verse, just the finger picking pattern's a bit different. We pluck the low E string twice. One, and, and then we do our thing like usual. Let's do that one more time. Three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and then back to the rest of the tune. So let's just backtrack a bit, go from the G chord, we're gonna go, Do it nice and slow from the G chord. Three and four and pattern, pattern. Oh, oh, and once you've worked that part out, we can practice the entire bridge all together, starting off on C. One and two and three and four. Cool, so at this point, you know every single part of the song. It's just a matter of assembling it. And I'm gonna play through like a shortened version of this song. And if you can do this, it's just a matter of repeating a few sections, you know, like we're gonna go through pretty much the whole thing start to finish, nice and slow. One and two and three and four. Cool, so those are all the parts of the song, you know, and if you could play through that, play along, you're gonna be able to play through the song. At this point, I recommend listening to the original recording like a million times. And since you've already learned some of it, 
as you're listening to it, you're going to kind of be able to piece it together. You know, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's where that part goes. And that's where that part goes. You know, and that's the phase where I want you to be at right now. Listening is just as important as practicing. You know, it's, it's 50% of it because it'll teach you to anticipate the next section. You're not gonna be like, I don't know what comes next. You know, you're, you'll know because you're super familiar with the recording. So at this point, listen to the song and now plug in all the parts that we've practiced together. And that's it, you know, we've, we've gone through all the transitions, all of everything. So it's just a matter of working through it, the original recording to assemble the song. And um, yeah, I hope you have a fun time practicing this one. Don't forget if you need any extra help, I have a bunch of resources. I'll put links to those down below. Um, otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.